Okay, so very important tool to use is active chain control. It allows you to correspond uh, different views with each other. So if you have a profile view uh, and you want to associate it with the plan view, after you go to the project manager, sign in, and pull down project manager, get active chain control. Select the chain that you want to work with. Uh, in this case, we're going to use 156 proposed. And then if you right click, you can pick plan, profile, or cross section for whatever view window you have open. I have one and three. Uh, if, if you don't know how to have your view windows on, it's down here. Uh, you can turn on whatever you need to. Uh, but for one, I'm going to do the plan view and it's going to show me the plan view of 156 and on three we're going to do the profile and it gives me the profile at 156. Now you'll notice as I as I scroll down here or I move my cursor around down on the profile view it also moves these crosshairs on the plan view. Uh, they're corresponding with each other which is extremely helpful. Uh, tur turn on uh, this curvilinear coordinates and you get this box here and it gives you the station offset of where your and elevation of where your cursor is in space. Uh, so for instance say we wanted to identify where this cross street is on the profile. We don't really know just from looking at it. I mean, we could we could figure it out, but we click on here and lock the station, put a permanent lock on, and then we we'll go down to the profile view. Notice it doesn't move off of this station no matter where I am, and I can go and draw a line, and it stays on that station. So this station right here is where my cross street is. It's just a way of corresponding the two. Also, if you wanted to say draw a line at station 75, you could lock it and hit apply and do it on the plan view as well. Uh, this will also tell you offsets. So if you click on the area, it'll tell you that the offset's 51 at that point, and it should be 40, 39 at this point. Um, see, it, it also will give you elevations. Uh, so if you know that you need this curve to come down to, let's say, 695, Type in 695, check it, hit the permanent lock, hit apply, and then any line you draw will be on that elevation. And you can move uh, things around as needed. Just a useful tool, um, like I said, to correspond uh, cross sections, plan views, and profiles all together. Uh, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Thanks.